Hello everyone, I'm Zahid from Top Set Innovation Valley and today we have a very amazing guest with us, Anna Bilova. Anna is the CEO and founder of Devar. Anna is a tech entrepreneur, Forbes under 30 in AR since 2015, creator one of the most popular line consumer products with augmented reality, sold 13 million items now it's selling in 74 countries in 27 languages. Designed and launched no-code platform, my web AR platform for brands, businesses, and creators, often referred to as the Canva for augmented reality. The platform has quickly become one of the two most popular web-based AR platforms. So first of all, I really warm welcome you, Anna. Thank you. Uh, glad to be here. And uh, I'm sure we will have a really interesting conversation today about the augmented reality. So thanks for the invitation. I'm so happy to have you. Thank you. Uh, Anna, before we jump to the questions and topic, my audience and I would love to know about your story where you got your education, when you started your career, and then when you decided to jump into the augmented reality space, how all that happened, and how was all this crazy and entrepreneurial journey so far? So it's uh, it's a good question. So first, my story, like an entrepreneur, started in uh, 2011, so it's a long time, but uh, in augmented reality, we started in uh, 2015, and uh, the reason was uh, that uh, we saw a technology, we really fell in love on it, and we tried to find a way how we can make augmented reality available for market. And not a lot of people eight years ago believed that AR will be like something huge or it will be like everywhere in our, uh, in our usual life. But we were like a truly believer in it. And our story in this space started from different trying to find a way how we can make uh, AR like a part of our life. And we started from a different, uh, different industries like marketing, industrial, museums, and ours. But our big journey started for, from creation some products for kids with augmented reality. And honestly, uh, when I saw how children reacted when their characters come to life in the same color that they used, I understood that what we need to do. And uh, it was our first step in uh, augmented reality. We started to create some products uh, like uh, books and toys for children. We successfully sell, sell, sold 13 million copies worldwide, and now it's selling in 74 countries and 27 languages. We are really happy to work with uh, big brands like Hasbro and Nickelodeon, and we also have a, in our partners uh, partners like big publishers in China, in France, and other countries. But generally. Uh, we are a technological company, and in our DNA, we have a technology. And we have a strong research and development team who really cares about some computer vision and generative technology, and all our products and platform were designed using our in-house uh, technology. So generally, it's because we try to find a way uh, not only how to make AR available and simple for everyone, but if you discuss about like a big story, we we have a dream and our dream is how we can use the technology to provide like some superpower for human. How we can make uh, a life around human, around people more interesting, more helpful, and how we can combine it with uh, immersive technology. We truly really believe that augmented reality is also a technology that can provide like a supervision when we can see and create a world 
but never exist. And it's like the next power of human. Because imagine that you can create anything what you want and you just need to say it. And uh, of course, today, it maybe sounds like a little fantasy, but we believe that in the future, in the close future, when people will have like consumer AR glasses, they can go to the street and they can create anything around them and make their life more interesting, more fantasy, more um, like helpful and something like that. And all our way, all our journey is just step by step how we implement AR in the everyday life, how we can make creation of augmented reality like really simple and available for everyone. And this is the reason why we two years ago we launched a web AR platform that allows to anyone, to everyone create AR experience without any technical skills. But it's just the first level. The second level, we worked with uh, generative technology. And today we have, uh, only we have a new market uh, technology that we call text to 3D, that you need to have just like a prompt and get uh, existing 3D model that you can use in your AR experience. The next level, we uh, have a better version of a technology that we call text to AR, and you can just using text to create the full augmented reality experience. And the next level will be when you just need to say something and create AR experience just using your words. So shortly in the summary, uh, today our journey is about how we can use immersive technology for changing everyday life around us and how we can make the process of creation really simple and available for everyone. We understand that today we have uh, a way, like step by step, how we can do it. And all our goals and all our challenges every day, it's about make it available and uh, super helpful for people and businesses. All right, very inspiring journey. <clears throat> so happy to Thank know you. this. So Anna, first of all, can you please uh, brief in general, what is augmented reality in general? What is its application in general? Uh, so that everybody can understand that, okay, this is augmented reality. And also tell what is the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality, or is it the same? And also, you know, now we see mixed reality, extended reality. Oh, so these are four terminologies. And for your yeah. team, does people need that virtual headsets or no need? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a good question. In the market, we have a lot of... Uh, like a little mess about uh, terminology and people sometimes mix reality, extended reality, augmented reality, virtual reality, what is the difference? Yeah. So uh, in the two words, mm. augmented reality is a technology which can add uh, additional digital content. Uh, it's maybe like 3D, 2D, audio, graphic, and hours in the real world. The difference with virtual reality, but when you see uh, virtual reality, we replace a whole world around us. And we don't uh, have to access from the real world. In ER, we combine digital world with uh, real world. And a really simple example, imagine that you go on in the street and you see a live dinosaurs behind of you, and this is a yard, because this is a dinosaur in your street, and you can see buildings, you can see cars, you can see trees, and dinosaur. In the virtual world, uh, you will see dinosaurs and uh, another environment. You will not to see your street, or you will not to see like trees, cars, or some other elements on your real world. This is like 
the main difference about it. Regarding uh, devices, this is one of the main concerns in the market with for using augmented reality, you need to have a special device. Today, um, we don't have uh, in the consumer market like special air glasses. We have air glasses uh, like a headset that we can use uh, for augmented reality for industrial market, but we don't have it for consumer market. And today in consumer market, people use mobile AR when you just need to have a phone or tablet to see and consume some augmented reality experience. You just need to have a smartphone and open a camera. That's it. All right. So uh, the, the next question is, Anna, in your opinion, what are some of the most exciting and promising applications of augmented reality in various industries? And uh, which industries would you like to share most of the times? Oh, it's a good question. So because I saw, I saw like hundreds, thousands application augmented reality in different industries. And for my personal opinion, AR will be everywhere because AR, it's not only about like wow effect or some like customer experience. It's also about to add some new functionality from existing products. So generally, um, I think, again, so we're all in the system, our everyday life will have AR component, but more faster, we will see uh, and we see now application in the next industry. So we first, it's about marketing, all type of marketing uh, and augmented reality here is like a company that we can uh, get more engagement, more conversion, more customer experience, something like that. And just, I, we can discuss a lot of about marketing just from a high level. I give a number that the average time when people spend in one AR scene, it's about three minutes. For commercial video, we, the average time is 15 seconds. 15 seconds, three minutes. And this is why marketing has a huge potential uh, for implementing augmented reality. The second industry, from my opinion, of course, it's e-commerce because uh, AR can solve a lot of business challenging for e-commerce side, starting from try on and uh, allowing like uh, to continue and uh, extend, uh, expand like uh, experiences for users. For example, Harvard uh, had uh, some research the last year when people, when we can uh, compare uh, user experience in the store or the beauty store, when people can try on uh, like some lipsticks from the traditional way and lipsticks from using augmented reality to you. And uh, this research uh, showed that people who use augmented reality experience buy more than 21%. And it's more interesting that we saw and, uh, this, uh, and uh, like explore more product lines than from a traditional way. We thought, uh, of course, it's education, because in education, uh, augmented reality has, uh, I think, uh, today, uh, not just only for tomorrow, but also today, uh, again, a huge potential, because uh, only on our platform, we have more than 200 universities, including like Duke, Yale, and others, uh, we use our platform for creation some AR experience for our students. We also have a thousand students and teachers in the world. And uh, I truly believe that uh, using our, our usage augmented reality in education has um, a big potential because uh, it's about like a new way of learning and it's about how to combine a pattern of behavior for digital natives with a modern way to educate 
and this is also like uh, a big problem and big challenge, but I give it a big opportunity. The third industry, top industry, what we call digital. Digital is a combination physical and digital. And uh, this is a terminology that explains that all physical products that we usually use in our everyday life can expand their functionality using augmented reality. For example, books, postcards, t-shirts, souvenirs, um, packaging, and others. I'll give you some examples. Um, we first we started to mention our product line uh, with books and toys for children. It's also digital, but again, it's our experience. For example, uh, one of our users in Germany started uh, to create their postcard with augmented reality. It works like you have a postcard, you scan it and see some fun animation or song or personal invitation, something like that. But interesting that they started from 10 postcards last year. Now we have a line more than 200 postcards and we successfully sell it in 500 stores in Germany. And this is uh, a good example when people can start it their business in uh, using uh, capabilities augmented reality and launch it like a new product with new functionality and new value for their users or consumers just using some immersive technology for them. And I truly believe that digital, like uh, the next generation of products, has really huge potential because the first, it's like you can jump into a blue ocean in the different industries right now, just using AR and their capabilities. And I truly believe that people and company who will start it, already started to do it, will have more uh, benefits when we are competitors who continue to go to traditional way. Because we all see how patterns of behavior changes. We, all, uh, we also know that uh, like, we have two main generations now in the world, like uh, Gen uh, Z and uh, digital natives, like the alpha generation. And uh, the generation of uh, the Z generation is the people who, like, uh, from, from, from whom, like, 92% of them would like to use augmented reality in the usual life. And this is a generation of people who would like to use it not only from e commerce or not only on the social media, but also would like to see. AR around them in the everyday life. And it means from the every business and the every industry can find a way how we can jump on this technology and be like from one side and from the consumers. Right. Uh, that's, you're sharing really very exciting things. I mean, exciting stuff. And Andreas, I agree that uh, the young generations that you mentioned, Alpha and Gen Z, would be so interesting on every on this all this stuff so uh, anna i would now like to ask specifically around the education how is augmented reality transforming the field of education can you provide specific examples of its impact on teaching and learning of course so we first uh, it's maybe a little boring but it's really uh important. Uh, it's about science side. Augmented uh, reality is technology, only only one technology in the world, but can use uh, in one time three ways our perception. How we see, how we listen, and how we interact. And uh, all of them more stronger in the like uh, when we play on it it means doesn't matter how you like personally you uh, want to get the content or materials educational materials 
for example, I'm visual, you uh, mostly like listen. If we both using augmented reality, we will have information and education content more deeply than traditional way. And this is a strong power of technology. The second, um, again, uh, as I mentioned before, it's, it's good for marketing, but it also works perfectly from the uh, educational side. The average time when people spend in one AR scene, it's about three minutes. Imagine you are a modern child. Of course, you prefer to uh, spend time with your mobile phone or tablet. We can we can argue with it. We cannot. Uh, we can't like not agree with it. We can't love it, but it's true. And modern children really want to have a gadget uh, like mobile devices on their hand and use information and learn information using them. Augmented reality in this case, this is a way when we can combine a traditional materials with uh, wishes of a modern children and make it really successful. This is from one hand. From the second way, I give you some practical example. Imagine that you are learning some human body. And uh, of course, uh, in our time, we saw like hurt on the image, or like maybe some uh, figures or something like that. But it, it's not about we. we it just it, it's not like a real, and we tried to find a way how we can see it like in real. Imagine now in the modern children can just open the link and see uh, a full 3D model on our shirt and they can see around and we can see from our different sides. And this is the next level of education because the next exa example, like we can, uh, we're trying to learn uh, about space or dinosaurs using just only text and images. Now using augmented reality, we can we can feel us like on the moon and see in the practical cases, practical application, what is the difference about physical on the earth on the moon. And it's another uh, it, it's another level of perception, it's another level of education because it's provides more opportunities for children to explore the world. And the children can go to the jungles, children can go to the uh, moon, children can go to the space, children can go to different places in our world using AR, just be on the one place. And I think it's, this is one of the reasons why a lot of teachers today uh, try to use AR and trying to uh, find the different experiences how we can do it and how we can make it more interesting for our students and it's again so it's not about uh, fantasy it's existing cases because i saw a lot of teachers who use it and it's really it's a lot it's it's always inspiring because it provides more capabilities for students but for example we had <laughs> in our childhood this is really inspiring and interesting and engaging anna I'm getting more excited on this, on all this augmented stuff. Right. Anna, what are some practical applications of augmented reality in the retail industry? How does it enhance the shopping experience for customers? For example, my yeah. wife already goes to the market and she buys shoes or maybe kind of lipstick or anything, so how my wife can be more excited using augmented reality? How? <laughs> oh, this is a perfect question. So I believe uh, we can discuss about it like hours, because as I mentioned, e-commerce, it's uh, one of the industry when I see a really practical and valuable application AI. But just go through like a high level. Follow an example with your wife. Imagine that you are going to a shop, uh, to a store to shop some lipstick. 
in the traditional way, uh, she can use, uh, she can try maybe five, maybe seven lipstick. Believe me, no more, no more, because uh, no one woman can uh, change like 10 lipstick just one time. So, but using AR technology, she can try like 40 different colors, 15 different colors, a lot of because it's just only about like try on and I can do it just one second. For women, it means uh, that we can be, we, we can have some more freedom to using a different uh, outfit, look fit, and we can see, we can try something new. But also it's about that we will spend less time for it. And it's really more convenient because we don't have any, uh, we don't need to think about like uh, how many lipsticks we can try just in one place. It's like more freedom for me and I can have more fantasy and time for like that. But try on, it's not only about just like one way. Uh, it's also about you can explore more, you can explore more uh, products that have a good combination with your first one. And generally, it depends, your shopping experience can be more immersive, not just only about because it's immersive technology, but also about that if you can see like more things that you can see just only in a physical store. And it's also about emotions because shopping can be transformed like a small Disneyland. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, I think it's, a, it's a good example. So using immersive technology, we can uh, transform where usual shopping like uh, to immersive Disneyland for following our emotions because immersive technology can provide us like more engagement and more expressions. And this is like, again, yeah, so a different level because uh, all our life is about emotion and our emotions is about our memory. And uh, when brand or company can use AR to provide the consumer a perfect experience, like a small Disneyland or just only on a package, this is a company who will win the market. All right. Uh, a really, really interesting experience. And I think the future generations will be enjoying all the shopping stuff and everything you know uh anna augmented reality has gained popularity in gaming industry with the success of games like pokemon go can you discuss the potential of augmented reality in gaming and its future prospects so uh gaming is a gaming and of course uh when more interactive mechanics we will have in the gaming we will find the right audience for them so again uh augmented reality is technology but from my opinion can be implemented from any industry and it depends just only what is the what is the goal uh you have and how you would like to use AR and what kind of challenges or what kind of problems you would like to solve using augmented reality. Doesn't matter, it's like in gaming, for marketing, for packaging, for products, for education. You can find the right way and how you can use it in the all of them. You just need to understand what is the what is the goal. Of course, in the gaming, it's one of the big industry when augmented reality will have a a huge success it depends what kind of mechanics and uh, interaction company can create for their users 
All right. You know, the construction and architecture sectors have also started adopting augmented reality. How does AR improve the design and construction process? Are there any notable examples? So it's, it's uh, also about uh, visualization. But uh, let me give you some one example. Imagine that you can go through uh, the home that you would like to buy and uh, or for example you can uh, go through uh, a house your favorite celebrity and uh, you don't need uh, to make it like a real house but you can make it from where where they are uh, twin and uh, this is like the next level about uh, attraction and this next uh, level about entertainment and it's a huge opportunity for celebrities, for example, to make uh, more engagement with their fan audience. Right. Augmented, let's bring another example from a little bit overlapping um, sector. For example, manufacturing, augmented reality has shown potential improving productivity and efficiency in the manufacturing sector. Can you elaborate on some specific use cases or success stories, keeping in view the manufacturing side in general? What do you mean? What kind of manufacturing? For example, uh, this is air condition, uh, this is AC remote, yeah. or could yeah. be smartphone. So they are doing the manufacturing just imagine the era of before augmented reality how augmented reality could be used in the manufacturing process of smartphones computer so it, chips it's, it's like uh, uh, the most uh, cases uh, is about uh, internal learning corporate learning instructions and something like that yeah but interesting that um, this is about like how uh, technology is developing because now, for example, we have a technology that we call 3D object technology. It means that uh, this technology can recognize uh, like a small real, not only small, different size of a real 3D object. And use uh, this is like in a marker for augmented reality, and it means that you don't need to have like image or standalone object. You can put it on your hands, or you can change your position. But AR content will suitable and uh, perf uh, works perfectly on your object. And this is a good uh, next level from some instruction or corporate learning. Uh, especially for manufacturing as well. So, for example, you can find, uh, like in our social media as well, some cases with uh, walkie-talkie, and uh, you can understand what I mean about it. Right. So now there is something interesting that I'm going to ask. You know, you have implemented augmented reality in many companies with many customers you have a lot of success stories and in 74 countries a big number yeah, thank you what are the challenges that you face in general when you pitch to the customer for example um in uh, is it regarding their understanding implementation resources or what are the basic challenges Oh, it's a perfect question. It depends on what kind of customers. <laughs> because uh, it depends uh, with whom we are talking. So, for example, uh, our first experience is eight years ago um, was about uh, how to explain traditional companies with AR. It's something huge and interesting and innovation and something like that. And I heard a lot of no uh, from uh, traditional companies, but in, in the start of our journey, 
But afterward, uh, when we saw how AR is growing, uh, we find the common language. But generally, uh, now, I think this is one of our strong power because we worked uh, deeply with traditional companies and we understand what is their problems, what is their challenges uh, we have and what is their pain and how we can solve it. And this is one of the reasons that there are, it's like a bridge between traditional companies to immersive technologies that we can uh, solve some of their problems and challenges that we have. The main questions um, and the, like a key like in the market that we have, it's about what company, maybe we want to use AI, but we don't know how we can do it. And uh, also we don't know what currently augmented reality can do for it, for them. I mean, not just only about customer experience, but also about, for example, what kind of real business challenge in the marketing augmented reality can solve from the traditional companies? We will, we didn't know about that. And this is like one of the questions. And I think uh, the main point is about knowledge and expertise. Because from the technology side, in the market, we have a different technology and we can, uh, and uh, it's growing very fast and uh, we have a new technology like every week, every month and it's continuing growing. For example, uh, yesterday we replaced uh, the coding and programmers part. Today we replaced the uh, 3D design part. Tomorrow we will replace something else. But this is from the technology side. From the client side, the big lag is about uh, People need to know what is the real power of technology. Because a lot of companies discuss only about like customer experience and wow effect. But believe me, augmented reality can solve um, like more real uh, and uh, more real practical questions, not only about customer experience, but more. <laughs> so. All right. You know, Anna, no matter what is the technology, what kind of technology is coming in the market, people around the world always have reservations and fear. For example, either it's television, internet, calculator, people are always afraid. Hey, this thing will replace this thing. AI will do this. This technology will do this. This is a very dangerous. I mean, a lot of reservations. Just like AI, are there any ethical considerations or potential drawbacks associated with the widespread adoption of augmented reality in different industries? Are people afraid of this technology in some way with a kind of a negative views? and how that reservations or fears can be addressed, how those concerns could be addressed? Uh, it's a good question. So honestly, I don't think that AI will replace... Uh... <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I don't think that AI will replace some professions because every technology <clears throat> doesn't matter it's AR or AI the professional people and the people uh, should see like we helper not from replacement and uh, I think we need to see from another side so every technology can make us better from and can make the world around us better. And we just need to see how we can use this power and how we can use it like to make us more stronger, clever, smarter, faster, or something like that. For example, AI can um, produce more valuable, more values for products. 
AI, uh, like practical application right now, can use us, can make us like a professional more smarter and faster. I think technology will uh, will create more space to our human creativity and will replace some routine and boring works. Because again, uh, but from another hand, it also work, it also open more capabilities for people who uh, didn't have uh, special skills to work in this industry. For example, like seven years ago uh, for creation website, you will need to be a programmer and you will need to have a special skills to using like Joomla or something like that. Today we have Wix on and Squarespace, but everyone can create a website just only one day. Seven years ago, we need to have to be professional programmers, uh, professional designer to use uh, Photoshop. Today, you, you we use a Canva, and we don't need to be as we don't need to have a special skills. The same thing is going on in augmented reality. Eight years ago, you need to use like Unity or something for or some professional tools. Today, you can use a no code platform, and you don't need to be a special programmers. But again, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean that it will replace the whole industry. It means that it will extend the industry. Because today, people who didn't have a special professional skills like coding or something like that can jump in the, this technology and this industry using no code uh, solutions. And it happens every time from the creative, from the all creative industries. And I think it's a good point because people can have more time for their creativity and for their imagination and uh, make uh, like routine work from a special platform. That's it. All right. Uh, Anna, are there any regulations or legal frameworks in place that govern the use of augmented reality in certain industries? What impact? So I know. Uh -huh. No regulations? Yeah, I know. Uh, no, um, I said I know that uh, it's still in the process because, of course, we will have a lot of questions in the future, how we can use AR in the world and what is the place and who is the owner of something like that, or like a special place for advertisement. And for example, if you have like a billboard, who is the owner to AR that implement to this place? And it, it's, a, it's a lot of questions, of course, but I know it's in the process and uh, we'll see how it will work. I know that some uh, organizations try to create some standards, but it's a growing and developing market. I'm not sure that today it will work uh, like in the strong regulation. It's not healthcare, you know, it's, it's just a technology side. And of course, we will see how it will work. Right. Now the last question and very, very exciting question one. Okay. Being in the field of augmented reality, you know, every human being, every founder has a certain imagination and dream and thoughts about the future. How do you imagine the future of augmented reality? What is the inspiration? For example, how do you see augmented reality in the industry and any field that, okay, this is my dream. This would happen someday in the name of augmented reality. What inspires you to keep going, keeping in you the future? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, so we first, as I mentioned at uh, the start, I truly believe that augmented is, this is technology uh, that will provide for us a new, better life, a new, better world around us. And this is the first point of my inspiration. The second, imagine that you have AR glasses and you go to the street 
and you stop it on the crosswalk. And all technology that works around you will tell you, don't go on the corner, we see a car who will not stop. And this is about our safety. Today, people think that immersive technology is mostly about, uh, again, so wow effect or some wow experience. But with this technology from the whole combination, will work also about how to make the world around us more safely, more interesting, and uh, more helpful. And we heard, imagine that you go to the street, you have air glasses, and for some reason you are a little sad. I don't know why, maybe, I don't know, something. But you just go to the street and uh, you want to be like, more smile or something like that. You just say, okay, I would like to see the whole world around me with dragons without cars. And you just say it. And in this second, the whole cars around you started to be dragons. What it means? It means that anyone can be a creator and we just need to say it. And we can live in the world that we really want. And we all can be like a superhero because we will have a supervision and superpower for creation. This is what about augmented reality for me, my team, and this is what we do and why we are woke up every day. All right. Uh, it was really insightful talking to you. And before you leave the studio, I would request you, keeping in view my audience, you know, who are students, entrepreneurs, startup founders, business community, education community, what message would you like to give them? Any advice, any inspiring message that could change their life? Just start, just start right now to do what you really want and uh, be successful and open your eyes, open your imagination, and let's do what you really want. Because you have a better life. You have all opportunities and capabilities around you. And if you want to go jump into immersive technology and augmented reality, I will be happy to help.